welcome to a new day of the show with the gaming and the esports and the top tier opinions. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm top tier host, Brody Moore. And hey, if you're new, welcome. This is how the show works. And Rob and I will each present a topic and we'll have two minutes on the board for discussion. Mm -hmm. At any point during those discussions, one of us feels like the other needs to shut up. We can hit this huge mute button to shut them up for 30 seconds. Marissa, That's right. I'm tempted to do it right now. Well, uh, I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> God, you're dumb. Place your bets right now for who you think will mute first. One for me, two for Brody, because he's poo. Now, <laughs> let's get going for our first story. Let's take a look at all the big coaching changes in Overwatch. Hmm. We've got one day to go before stage two of the Overwatch League begins, and it seems like every team has decided to drop coaches at the same time. Well, not every team, but it sure feels like it. Paris Eternal, Toronto Defiant, Washington Justice, and Dallas Fuel all drop members of their coaching staff at the same time. And so far, none have announced replacements. So, mm -hmm. now, with obviously stage two starting tomorrow, why drop the coach this late unless they're just announcing it this late? Yeah, that's, it's, it's weird. well, especially if they don't have replacements. Well, maybe they do have replacements. They just, they just as you said, it. haven't said anything about it. But, mm. I mean, I, there's always the question of when is the right time. You know, you're always like, oh, I need to break up with my boyfriend or girlfriend or something. You know, it's like, when's the right, oh, Christmas is coming up, I can't do it now. Oh, their birthday's coming up, I can't do it. Oh, they're, you know, like, okay. when is the right time, really? <laughs> I guess the right time is never better than now. Okay, all right. So in your experience, Brody just wants you to rip off the Band-Aid. Yeah, just Don't make it any with. more painful just than it needs to be. With, <laughs> That's know? just life advice right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, seeing the announcements, obviously they have to part ways and they have to let their audience know because these Overwatch fans, honestly, they're heavily invested in everything these teams do. They're watching, they're like sitting there on their phones, on Twitter, liking every single tweet that comes out, especially with Toronto Defiant. Like, I, uh, we're obviously fans of them, so we follow them. When mm -hmm. they announced yesterday they were getting rid of their strategic coach, I was pretty sad and a lot of people were too, but it kind of makes sense if it didn't meet expectations. But I feel like with Toronto, Toronto didn't do that bad, they though. did pretty well. That's exactly. A great, for, a great like first jump into the league. I mean, right. like as a new team put together, right? Like that's I, I thought they did pretty well. Sure, it wasn't first place, but but if you it ain't wasn't first, bad. Brody, you're last. I suppose. I mean, they're still they're still getting dollar bills. So yeah, it's really yeah. not that bad. Yeah, it's true. Unless they're they're obviously this is all an experiment, right? This mm -hmm. is all something new. And these are a lot of executives now that are getting into esports for the first time, owning these teams, and they may have come from sports and they run uh, their sports teams differently and different things they've come from where they see where money needs to go and maybe money wasn't going in the right places for these strategic coaches. Maybe yeah. maybe Bishop can do the job for both of those coaches. Maybe they didn't need it. Maybe uh, you know, you're right. Actually, that, that's actually another angle I actually didn't think of. Mm. Wow. You, good uh, job, Marissa. I, uh, I actually didn't think of you know, maybe Maybe you're right. They're just kind of a clean up and trying to be a bit more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move on, but also uh, this just in. Tyler, what? our producer, also said the day before Valentine's Day is the best time to break up with your significant Oh, Tyler. That's what's up. You jerk. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Speaking of roster changes in League of Legends, 100 Thieves dropped its star mid laner, Huhi. The famed player was one of the org's most hyped pickups last offseason, but in the spring split, 100 Thieves placed last. Mm -hmm. And Huhi was among the worst three players for his position in the entire LCS, nearly every meaningful stat. Dang. Now, do you, th do you think this is too early? No. To, to drop a player? Like, I mean, obviously, well, yeah, I blast in every stat, but you could work on it. Uh, okay. And uh, Huhi, who is still great. The reason why I think it's too early, the reason why I legitimately think it's too early for Huhi is that today is his birthday. Today is his actual birthday. They should have waited until Valentine's let, Day. This exactly applies to this. They should have waited until Valentine's Day. No, they should have waited until, I don't know, after his birthday. That hurts, man. There's, it stings real bad. How are you supposed to be celebrating? You want to pop the bottles? You can't because you got dropped. Like, it hurts. The feels are real. Or maybe he's actually really excited that he gets to go to another team that's going to do good. No, because he had... Maybe he just <laughs> didn't... <laughs> right? That's kind of rude. Yeah. But no, I don't know. Maybe... It just, it, it uh, it's just, it's better. Maybe he wasn't feeling it, yeah, you know? I mean, Maybe this was just a situation of like, I'm just not motivated behind this team. I don't, I don't think the coaching staff's doing good. I don't think the teammates synergize well with me. And I just, I, I'm okay with not being here. He was pretty gracious though in his tweet where he was thanking 100 Thieves for everything. He's sorry he couldn't have done more. You know, he seems like a very good teammate just from the outside looking in. Obviously this happens all the time in esports. Players get oh, dropped constantly. I'm not saying that so. there was like issues eternally. I think it was yeah. maybe, if synergy goes a long way with anything, yeah. right? Absolutely anything you do, especially in team things. 
right? So we have great synergy. Okay. Absolutely perfect nice synergy. Be you, <laughs> Thank you. But it, 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 yeah, no, if, if there's just not the synergy there, there's not much you can do on that. If, if this teammate has a specific play style and you just can't fit in, yeah. it's like who he maybe took it on upon himself to say, like, you know what, I should have been able to learn and work with that teammate, yeah. but I couldn't. And mm -hmm. that's why he feels bad about it. Maybe mm -hmm. he does put it on himself, mm -hmm. but it could also not have been his fault. It could have just no. been, hey, the team wasn't meant to be. Right. Sometimes but the org could have still been great for them, you know? Yeah, who knows? But I'd like to, you know, just drop a couple Fs in chat right now for who he, uh, right now, obviously because he's no longer with 100 Thieves, but also it's his birthday, yo. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Raven. Raven. Okay, listen, <laughs> as is tradition, Evo organizer Mr. Wizard is keeping us updated with the registration rankings for Evo 2019. So far, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the most popular game, followed by Tekken 7 at number two and Street Fighter V in third place. Rounding out the top five is Mortal Kombat 11, which hasn't even been released yet, and Under Night in Birth. So, first of all, mm -hmm. does this surprise you? Um, not particularly. Mm. I mean, like... Like ultimate thing? Yeah, no. no! I mean, like, here's the thing. We, we know very well right mm. now that the Street Fighter community isn't the happiest with uh, that game. So I think a lot of those numbers, obviously people register for multiple it's games. It's top three. It is top three, but it's not number one. I think maybe that's where people like, is this surprising? Oh. I think Ultimate is is up there because it's it's the most, I, I feel accessible out of all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean like any anybody can just jump in and be like, hey, I'm gonna play Pikachu or I'm gonna you know be my favorite character. Just Yo, whatever. I'm sorry, is that like low key shade on Ultimate players? Because anybody could just pick it up? No, what I'm saying is it's accessible Yo, because I can, of the down B, down B. The <laughs> <laughs> the familiarity. Just down smash all day, Peach. Um, Just down smash it's, all day. It's the familiarity with the characters. They can jump in, but a lot of people might... And Street Fighter is a little more daunting, too. I mean, yeah. like, it is the core essence of competitive mentality yeah. and, and the FGC, right? So it's a little daunting to get into if you don't know the scene already. So it doesn't surprise me. I mean, like, if, if Melee was there, it would definitely be at the top. For sure. But you know that that's not going to be the case anymore, which is so sad. I know. I feel it too, Brody Moore. But uh, we need to give love, obviously, to the new games. I love that Tekken's up there. That makes me very happy. Tekken's a great game. Because it's a great game, and not a lot, enough people, I feel like, give it the respect it deserves. Like, the players do, and the scene does. But mm -hmm. people from the outside looking in, like, you don't... I just don't hear a lot of people, you know, around esports talking about Tekken. It's mostly... It's just been, like, Dragon Ball Fighters. obviously, all last year. That was yeah. just nothing with Dragon which Ball Fighters. Which is actually lower than I thought it would yeah. be, in all honesty. But do you feel like that's a thing? We get burnt out of these, like, bye, 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 sell, sell, sell. We're so excited about this for, uh, this game that just came out. That's why Ultimate's up there. And now, like, maybe it'll dwindle down next year. Like, maybe it won't even make top three next year. Mm, no, again, I really, really ultimately do think <laughs> that the, uh, the accessibility, the familiarity of the characters, how easy it is to jump in a game, especially being on the Switch. Mm. Um, I think that's, that's a huge bonus to the game, that it's just, you know, everyone's getting a Switch right now. Okay, fair. Cool, all right. <laughs> Rounding out our stories is the most watched Twitch streamer in March, according to the Esports Observer. Mm. This might be a surprise to you. Apart from Riot Games, Summit 1G what? was the most popular channel on Twitch with nearly 11 million hours watched. His popularity rose ever, uh, ever so much since he started playing Grand Theft Auto V <laughs> role-playing servers. Yeah. You know, that's big. Crushing the likes of Ninja and Shroud on the rankings. Wow. Wow. Uh, it threw me off when I wow. found that out, too, because I'm like, especially th this past month, at least, I'm like, it's got to be Shroud. With, with Apex and that, but no, it's no. somewhat what you... I'm like, how is this man still relevant? You don't even like Summit. Like, I, no, straight up, not he, at yo, all. Brody does not like Summit for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Um, but the fact that, listen, it's all obviously a testament to this role-playing version huge, of Grand Theft Auto. It is so much fun to watch. Just with the clips that we've seen so far on this show, I so want to get into this. Like, this is something that appeases me completely because I love role-playing games, number one. And GTA, like, who doesn't love yeah, GTA. but is it going to bubble? Is Summit going to find himself just dipping back down well, again? But Summit has one of those personalities where like, you can't actually watch him for a long time. Even if you don't like him, he is very entertaining. I think, uh, well, I mean, like, he did, he was, remember, uh, putting out his frustrations out there about, uh, he's like, not wanting to play Fortnite. He's like, how do I make it big? I hate this yeah, game yeah, and that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, he finally found a thing that's working for him. But mm -hmm. if all he's caring about is those numbers, is this bubble going to go and he's going to get mad yeah, again and drop to another game? Yeah, of course. I, honestly, Twitch breeds a lot of egos, okay? So mm -hmm. sometimes the egos get too big for their britches and so they does pop. This office. And they. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> you're so stupid. I'm sure you're referring to yourself, though. Or Lisa. <laughs> or Camille. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I, I am concerned about where some of these streamers might go in their lives after the fact because it's always a struggle to stay relevant, right? And that, that is a really hard grind. Yeah, it you do really know the grind, is. don't you? I know the grind. <laughs> Look, like I'm tired, okay? It hurts, it kills. Relevant. So to have all these people follow him and to be number one, it's going to hurt very badly when he falls. Yeah. And I don't wish that upon anybody, by the way. It sounds I, like I'm having shared and proud over here. Uh, right. Yeah, no, I, I, it, it's just right. But here's the other thing, too, is it's it's bought. So yeah. that, I think, is the one thing that um, the role playing actually is good. Because going back and watching VODs of, like, Shroud just murk people yeah. is no different than just watching him murk people yeah. live, right? That's true. So with the role playing, though, there's stories <laughs> you can jump back yeah. to. So the VODs actually will help boost it. So yeah, I guess. No it does make a little more sense. Shout out to 1G. Yeah. Anyways, now it's time to see what the streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from King Richard, who's feeling bad for himself. Oh. I put a lot of time into my stream chat, more, more than anything. I, I lose sleep, and I sacrifice a lot to try and provide. I sacrifice a lot to try and provide quality entertainment every day and positive vibes every day for y'all. Every day, I sacrifice. So now, the, 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 the controversy then is that he's been, he's been under fire right now for not paying uh, a higher designer for their services. So it's the question is, should you feel sorry for him right now? You know, if he's under attack and... He's not paying someone. See, like this, I feel like all relates back to the whole ego thing on Twitch. Like he has followers, he bigs himself up. You start like, there becomes an incestuous thing with streams and streamers, okay? Mm -hmm. Because these people that are watching you, they're big fans of you, so they kind of sing your praises constantly, right? So when you're used to that, and you're used to the ego boosting, and then for people outside of that to start pooping on you, so to speak, it, it, it kind of kills that ego and it makes it all like internal and he, and he just feels sorry for himself and he doesn't understand why people don't love him. Like it's a whole thing. I think it's kind of gross. I, I hope that there's some kind of therapy out there for people that are, are Twitch streamers and are full-time Twitch streamers because they really need to kind of reconcile with the fact that it's not really all about the stream and the people you interact with in your stream. It's also about real life and being responsible for the things that you do in your life. If you're going to hire somebody, you better pay them. Yeah. On the other side, sometimes we do know if something comes up, he might be receiving some... Uh, some messages mm. from the internet people that yeah. may go above and beyond what they should be For as sure. well so there, there there are two sides really to that but at the same end of the day pay yeah, at the end of the day <laughs> pay, at the end of the day pay your <laughs> I thought we banned that, right? Oh, yeah. So, by the way, if you didn't watch us yesterday, uh, I feel like I want to put a ban on the phrase at the end of the day because everybody freaking says it. It's so annoying. We do it, too. At the end so of the day, we're not going to stop saying it. Hold us accountable. <laughs> Damn it, Brody. Listen, let's lighten things up with Ms. Keefe, who noticed Banjo-Kazooie might have inspired a famous rapper. Why did that sound like Hotline Bling? <laughs> That can only mean one thing. Na 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 na. That can only mean one thing. Ever since I met the city, you, you. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. What the? Drake stole from Banjo Kazooie. That realization. Drake. What the hell? I mean. I'm not a fan of Drake anyway, so it doesn't I, surprise I me. I am. I am. Don't, no, no shots fired at Drake. Listen. I'm shooting no. fires at Drake. No, he's good for the city of Toronto. That's oh, enough. I'm sure that he's a great person, but at the end of the day, his music is crap. <laughs> At the end of the day, the where's the, the freaking counter? <laughs> I didn't even notice you were saying it that time. God. Uh, listen, that's kind of crazy. I makes me love the song more, more now, knowing that it's somehow related to Banjo Kazooie. If it is, obviously this is all speculation, but. It seems eerily similar. What do you mean speculation? You just heard it. Drake. Are you deaf? Oh my God. Drake's the or the person that probably wrote the, the song for him. No, he listen. Took it from he, there. 
Why do people do this? These artists are artists for a reason. They work with producers and obviously help them make a song better. You know but what? they still write some of their own music. You know That's enough. I'll, I'll take it. You know, if I'm wrong, God. but we're going to do the research and find out who the writers were for that song and see if it was all yeah, Drake. Yeah, this is all talking because, about you, by the way, because like, like he researches anything. Anyway, it's time to move on. That's all I do. <laughs> it's about that don't. time where we tap into my Twitter feed and the things that amuse me. And nothing amuses me more than esports pros and personalities. I also appreciate those who put others on blast so we too can do the same. Shout out to RLCS caster James Villar for letting us all know. <laughs> In case you wonder how the three-time Turbo Pulsa warms up prior to matches starting. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. I feel like all of us do that. Okay. <laughs> there was, so to let you know, we, we always have a law before to make sure the players can test the servers in uh -huh. the in the RLCS um, before and to make sure they're good and ping's great and that. And they always just kind of run around. And sometimes we like to join in with our observer PCs uh -huh. and just join the action. And I definitely had the a moment action. where I, I chased down Garrett G. Um, and we had a we had a moment that I'll never I know. forget. I saw that because you replied to that tweet because anything Rocket League related, bro, he's in there. He's in there replying. <laughs> of course he gets I the am. Legs. I love Rocket League. Anyways, <laughs> next tweet. It's not Rocket League, but the next tweet is courtesy of Variety Phase Gamer Pamage, who quoted that clickbait article the Daily Mail had put out that was saying young men aren't having sex because they'd rather play video games. Mm. Well, Pamage comes in uh, with the. Uh, Gotta slay a couple of dragons to get my queen. What do you mean? <laughs> Please notice the reply. At the end of the day, my rank is more important. At the end of the day! At the end of the day! <laughs> my rank is more important. Uh, Yo, real talk. Okay, but do you feel... We all... Huh? Do you, did you feel that article when you saw it? Like, when you saw it, honestly, what did you think? Because I wasn't offended in the least. Like, obviously, I'm not a man, so I guess it doesn't apply to me, but, like, I don't care. Why would, why would I be offended by anything the Daily Mail puts out? It's true. It's just so As clickbait. The Even the photo. God. Like, I'd almost rather read BuzzFeed. Oh, <laughs> more shots fired from Brody Moore. Uh, yeah, I just think it's so silly. Like, who cares? If that's honestly true, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Because you know what? Maybe what? I shouldn't say. At the end of the day? Listen, HPV is rampant. You better protect yourself, <laughs> children. Hey, you better protect hey, uh, yourself. This is, this is good educational content. Yeah. Okay, anyway, now for our final <laughs> profound thought. Take yourself on that one. Shut up. It's less profound and more just the dumbest thing ever. Our very own Camille decided okay. to run a Twitter poll. She says, I need help to settle an argument. Choose wisely the best ginger ale. And then she has the audacity to put Schweppes up against Canada Dry. Obviously, this was no contest. I don't even know who the freaking 17%. Why would anybody even vote for Schweppes? Are you cray? Uh, Are you that's cray? That's real. I mean, <laughs> I should have known it was Camille coming up when you said the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, she's not here, so we can just talk trash. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to have to, like, raise my pinky at you all right now oh. and just say, uh, I'm on that Verner's train. Okay, we're not sponsored by Verner's we're in not, any way but or I, Canada Dry. I wish I was. <laughs> for, for, but I will agree, in tier lists of ginger ale, yeah. I'm glad that this is what we're doing on the show now. Yeah. On the tier list of ginger ale, it is Schweppes, Canada Dry, Verner's. Okay, straight up, no, Schweppes is like all the way down here. How, I, I mean, I told her to just bring in, let's do a blind taste test just to prove this once and for all. Yeah. Girl is cray. I don't know, she mm. says she's ahead of her time, that people will catch up to her. I don't, I, Camille, I don't understand you, girl. I love you so much, but no. Yeah, no, we'll, <laughs> like, no. I think, okay, that's enough. We'll just, we'll go trash her when she can actually fight back. All right, <laughs> but, it's the oldest person drink ever, honestly, with ginger ale. And apparently in uh, retirement homes, they have a deal with Schweppes. Like Schweppes is the drink for retirement homes. So They'll Camille, do whatever they can to get anybody drinking it. Okay. Ooh, shots. Anyways, it's time now for some crowd control. This is where we turn off our brains and just look at things. <laughs> To start us off, I gotta use this moment to get Corpse Dude's message out there to kids destroying their parents' credit cards. Uh -oh. When you realize wearing a nice skin doesn't make you better at a game. Oh, rip a friggin' dip. Ain't that the truth, though? Yeah. Ain't that the truth? But the thing is, the kids don't care. No. The kids don't care. It's true, kids, but some people think it kids, does. Stop spending your parents' money. First of all, you don't understand the value of money. No. Nope, okay? You don't understand how hard problem. it is to work for money. It doesn't just grow from trees. You don't just pick it up from your mommy's pocket. That's not how the sh S H I T works. Okay? <laughs> Children, honestly, be responsible. Your parents work hard for that. They also work very hard to clothe and feed you. Do not take money from them. I'm telling you right now, spend like literally spend your time, I don't know, working for it. Do the dishes, maybe vacuum, help mommy and daddy out, and maybe you get your skin. At the same time that Wraith skin is really nice. Oh my god. Like... You're 
Okay, you know okay. what? Even if you take what I say and you throw it all away. Yeah, From time to time, we like to show off sick artwork, but this time, Hero of Time 4209 used the Joy-Cons as his canvas. Gorillas, that's sick. Oh, that's I cool. love it. And those, keep in mind how small the Joy-Cons are. That's hard. Yo. Yo. It would, Feeling you know, bad, I got sunshine. Mine would just look like a Pollock painting if I even tried to, to do that. I can't even hold those <laughs> controllers. Pollock painting? Oh yeah, he just threw paint at the canvas. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of, what would you put on, like what are your joy cards? What would you, um, what My joy cards, I, well, because I'm a sucker for Animal Crossing, obviously. Oh, um, and I did get that Isabelle themed um, uh, DS yeah. when it came out. One is Isabelle and one is like Tom Nook? You can, yeah, you can change the faceplate. On them. Oh, like, it actually came with Facebook. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty litty. It's very exciting for me. Yeah, so anything to do with the game that I'm obsessed with at the time, at the time I love like custom Xboxes too when they come out with their different whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, they just get me excited. Although like, I then you start a collection and it becomes kind of expensive. That's true. So maybe don't get into that. Let us know in the chat and in the comments if you're watching on YouTube yeah. uh, what you put on your Joy-Cons or any, any system of yours. But for our last post, I just got to say sorry, not sorry. Uh-oh. You all lose. What? And for the 50% of the people out there that don't get it, if you've never played the game, I'm about to ruin all of your lives right now. The game is only winnable by not thinking about the game. The second you think of the game, you've lost the game and you must tell everyone else around you. What the frig are you talking so about? So now when you hear the game, you're all gonna hate your lives, trust me. What? You'll get it one day, Marissa. No, no, explain yourself. Culture you can't yourself. just drop. No, Culture no. Culture yourself. You Pretty more. Tell me what you mean. I, I don't get did. it. I literally like, just mean, explained it to you, Do you mean, the, you. Do you mean the game of I, life? I guarantee you. Do you mean the game of life? No, the game. The, the actual game? The game. The, like a Bethesda game? It's called the game. Oh, it's just called the game. You are playing the game. Everyone here is playing the game. Are you serious? Isn't you like a Matrix thing? You cannot play the game. Oh my god, you're the most irritating the person. Blown. There are so many chat, people in chat right now. I've ever met in my life. Cursing at me. No, Trust me. Yeah, tr yeah. You'll see later. No, trust me. Trust me. You're so annoying. Anyway, let us know who you think won the battle today. Idiot. I'm not gonna get any choices. From you get number two. That. I get number one. Obviously, make sure to hit us up on our Discord by typing social. So exclamation point social. You can find us everywhere and hit a follow button because we love you.